I feel that it's very important for families and to feel that their culture is acknowledged and that when uh, you're making decisions with your student and your child to go to college, it's a big decision because, you know, unfortunately, a lot of indigenous students, um, a lot indigenous families don't go to college and often we don't succeed in college. And so we have to change that narrative. And I think that part of that is families feeling welcome to go and visit college campuses, inquire on the college campuses about how they might feel they can fit in, how their students' culture will fit in. Um, I think that we need to feel very comfortable as an indigenous person going to a college campus to feel that we are comfortable and we are welcome. And, and, you know, we still need to make those visits. I mean, right now I know we're going through a process where people are doing virtual learning or virtual visits to the campuses, but it's very imperative, I believe, to, to really get a feel for how that campus is welcoming you. And we also know that with indigenous peoples and indigenous students, if you do have a good grounding in your culture and your identity, you do succeed. And so that's not something that we should feel we should hide or, or minimize or, or feel like, well, I don't wanna talk about my, my own culture when you're on the campus as a student, or if even a family member, when you're going for a visit, that you don't want to talk about, you know, your 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 own personal practices um, in terms of culture and and how you ident identify with yourself. So it's really important that we feel comfortable being able to be ourselves as an indigenous person on a campus.